What's it gonna do? Oh, oh, that is disgusting, man. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Henry, I'm a digital artist, and I know it's been a while since my last set of proper videos, but we are back with a Halloween special, looking at more AI art using AI to create some spooky artwork. So no change there then. Right, we're back with Art Breeder, and we're gonna create something <laughs> rather weird and scary. As per usual, let's let's kick off with portraits. Oh, just a quick preview of some rather scary stuff there already on the screen. Right, anyway, so we need, kind of forgotten how to use this now. I mean, look, look, we, we, let's kick off with, oh my, people have beat me to it. What is this? Oh, no. Oh, oh, what the heck? I don't want to know what body part that is. People have beaten me to it. People have created some... <laughs> weird amalgamations of absolute abomination jeez okay right, right well well i guess the aim was to create something scary so um that, you see that's like the end result kind of that's too too far already let's pick something not too weird but also quite strange at the same time that, what is that now eve that, that's just not anything anymore oh what is happening Jesus, I know it's like nearly Halloween and stuff, but still, like this is supposed to be my job. <laughs> okay, right, let's pick. Why don't we combine this guy with, another, <laughs> with something else? With something not too weird. Not outrageously weird. Yes, this one. Dun dun dun. <laughs> oh god, okay, here we go, here we go again now. You know what, it's been a while since I used this, there's so much you can adjust on the side here, like I just but anyway, let's give a little bit more of the style of the first and less of the face of the second one. Okay, now it's just turning a bit more normal. Okay, this is not what we wanted. Hmm, less of the style of the second one. Bit more of the face of the first one? Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there with the weirdness. Maybe less of the first. Now, if I go down to now, where, where are the funny things we can change? Expression, here we go. Now, eyes wide open. Oh! Too open, too open. Close, close them, close them back. Yes, there we go, yep. Bulging out of his sockets. Um, angry, and also ha Oh, yeah. why is it always back to this face? We created something similar before. I don't understand this. Like, it's got some kind of obsession with that version. Maybe a little less angry. Yes, there we go. And also a bit happy. That's just, that's just out of order now. Wh okay, yep, and... Hmm, did we, did we, if we, what happens if they shut their mouth? Shut your mouth. Okay, no, he's got disappointed. Oh my goodness. Oh no, he's been beaten up. Okay, bring it back, bring it back. Hmm, I mean, to be fair, art, if it's more, what does that mean? It turns it, uh, and then photorealistic. I oh my, that's not realistic at all. Uh, I don't want to know what realism that was meant to resemble. Size rotation? Oh, hello. Wait, were these here before? Did it add more things? Unless I just didn't notice. Since I don't really go on this very much, to be honest with you. Uh, pitch, what does pitch do? Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> he's looking up and he's looking down. Yeah, okay. Well, maybe maybe we should... Do Best you look up. The less I see you, the better. Jaw. <laughs> uh, I don't really know what that did, apart from slightly rotate the face. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's a xenomorph. Ah, uh, height. What would height be? Whoa! Bloody heck. Oh, jeez. Squished. Okay. Something. Ah, uh, no, no. Width? Ah! Uh, that's just, what, make it more terrifying. Okay. Ah, uh, what? What? It's just, ah. Uh, you know, you know what? Uh, okay, let, let's bring it back down to here. There we go. That's our image. I don't think this, we need to even change these things over here anymore. Yep, there we go. That's our, oh, you know what? It looks like a clown. Yep, this is our spooky creation number one. Done. Right, we're going into general this time, and I suppose it's kind of a bit of everything, but I feel like we need to create some kind of monster. Some, not like the last one wasn't already a monster, but... Okay, you know what? Let's go with this one, and then combine it with a person's face. I could upload the picture, but I kind of want to find face. Oh, what's this? Christ. Oh my god. It's the fact that people just save these things and then just upload it thinking, yep, this is my artwork. <laughs> I mean, I do it for fun. I don't <laughs> well, I suppose they were too. But anyway, this is... <laughs> Horrific. People definitely... Whoa, no. Slight borderline trypophobia. Trigger warning, guys. Apologies. 
Oh my gosh. You know, I don't even need to even do anything else. Oh, is there something slightly normal? All of this is terrifying. And these bizarre aliens. It reminds me of like something from Doctor Who. We are the slithy. Oh, you know what? Let's just pick this one. What's it going to do? Oh, oh, that is disgusting, man. Okay, that's already quite horrific. Um, is there something a bit more normal? Combining a person and a dog is not the best idea. Probably was never the best idea in the first place. Okay, this, this is, okay, this is not going very well. I think we should start over. Okay, okay. Oh, <laughs> here we go. Perfect. This is it. Right, which one? Shrek over here. Well, okay, someone's tried doing what I wanted to do already. That's a little bit annoying. Come on now. Not like it was that original, to be honest. This is all like the same image and someone's just slightly changed it. Okay, yeah, that's the one. That's what we want. There we go. Uh, there's something very, un uh, I don't know, slightly uncanny valley-ness about it. Style, style of the first one, less the face, turn into this guy, <laughs> make him into that guy. No. Okay. Well, we need something else. A bit more, f bit more flavor to this. Uh, well... Well, I suppose, why not? Let's just chuck this abomination in there. It's not really doing it. I wonder, oh, it's because of this first one. It's probably because there's too many. I mean, I remember someone on another video said there was like too many images, which to be honest, is only too many if you think it's too many. Okay, now let's get rid of the first one. I think that the, the go away Pinterest. <laughs> Wait, hang on. Wait, where's the, the the blood from the eyes and stuff? Got? Now, time for the expressions. Mouth's already open, but couldn't hurt to be even more open. Oh my god. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh no. Eyes open. Well, I mean, at that state you can't really, but let's just see what happens if they did. Oh, oh no. Okay, right. This is perfect. This is all going according to plan. It's exactly what we wanted to do. We should not be surprised. Angry. What if they're not angry? I don't blame you. Again, it's just leaning more and more towards that other image. I don't understand. Uh, what is it basing off of? Just I'm not happy. What are really like, angry, upset? Oh, okay. Well, it seems something we don't want to see. And if uh, that is scary and strange, well, I suppose that's another one. That's too grim. Pitch down. Oh no, those eyes. AI art or not, be this is very. Oh no, God. Okay. Anyway, uh, that's just like someone's nan. I think that's pretty much okay. That's 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 number two. Terrifying. Now it's time to create some bizarre, scary anime characters. Mouth open, obviously. Ah, uh, okay. Why why specifically purple eyes? Why spe Okay, red eyes. Well, obviously red eyes. I was gonna say some of these. Well, yeah, some of these are demented already. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Okay, apologies, whoever the artist is behind this. Uh, but we're gonna pick one. Let's pick this one. It's pretty. Okay, well, that's already mental as it is. We're gonna add another one. And this is what's gonna get people mad. Henry, you're adding too many at the same time. Yeah, I'm purposefully doing it. It's mucking about here. Well, what is this? Okay, um... Oh, you know what? The only thing is, they all kind of end up looking the same as the ones I made before. Which goes from, oh, yeah, different tactics this time. Yes, there we go. You know, that's that's creepy, spooky, but also kind of cool at the same time. That's what we want to do. Can't really tell if they're smiling, if they're not. Yes, there we go. Yeah, that's creepy and also awesome at the same time. Yeah, maybe a little bit of blush. A little bit of blush. Hair's pretty good already. Not long hair. What if it's short hair? Yeah, I mean, you know what? This is just looking badass now. Looking pretty sick. You know what? Let's save this. I like this. That's pretty cool. It kind of almost has a ghost in the shell kind of vibe going on here. Okay, brilliant. Okay, turns out that one's actually quite cool. Okay, sorry about this, but I was, <laughs> I recorded the whole process and then turns out my screen recorder wasn't recording it. So, my bad. Anyway, so I put this together, you know, I put in a few skulls, uh, one larger in the middle, two on the sides, and I'd vaguely drawn some candles around them and a kind of a dark kind of, you know, velvety sort of background thing going on there, just to give it a bit of colour and uh, an idea of uh, the sort of lighting. And then I sort of wrote, you know, three skulls with a candle lit around them, in a speaker dark room. Uh, you know, I'm going to try, before I show the results, I'm just going to do this differently this time because it did look really good, I promise you, but I want to add something else because I want to see if it's able to do it. I just want to basically imply that there is a, whoops, a wooden floor. Dark room uh, on a wooden floor. I just want to see if it's able to do that because before it was kind of, well, without revealing so much, it was sort of vaguely floating in a room. So anyway, 
hit render, let's see what it does. And there we have it. Okay, it doesn't look quite as good as my first one. I will show you on the screen what the first one looks like. There were more candles towards the front of the skulls, but at least there's a wooden floor. It is rendered pretty well. I do like this. It's got like a kind of a, a curtain kind of backdrop to it. This is really nice. I'm really impressed. Yeah, the candles are nowhere near as good as the first one, actually. Although it does look a bit more realistic, I suppose, because the first one, it did have like this drawn kind of candle holder effect to it. But this one is kind of almost, I don't know, it's almost like glass. What's going on there? But yeah, it's still done the job. I mean, this isn't quite where it should be, but it's still cut a little hole at the top of the skull, creating a little place for a candle, even though I kind of wanted more of a Johnny Blaze Ghost Rider look, but obviously, you know, I could have tied that in maybe, and it would have done it like a flaming skull thing. That would be pretty cool. But yeah, it's done a good job. This is really impressive and spooky. Okay, let's try this again with something else now this time. How about, let's let's see, Ooh, what, what kind of background? I do like the purplish kind of backgrounds actually. It's just, you know, I want to be nighttime. Any one of these would be fine for the time being. So just draw that as a background. Try and, oh geez, good Lord. Okay. That is horrendous. Let's do that again, geez. This again, draw around the thing. Doesn't really matter where you go over, the, go over the edges, it's fine. I would like to insert images, but I, I kind of want to draw them and see what happens. I'm gonna see just how good this is. Because I want to draw some ghosts. Ghosty goos. <laughs> some very typical, you know, typical ghosts. Okay, let's see. If I could, can I rotate this? Oh, yes you can. That'd be there. And then these guys will be floating around. Slightly awkward shape, but anyway. Yeah, I'm going to resist inserting images for the time being because I want to see just how good it is. Just learning from what I'm drawing here. Now, get a bit of an orange. We're obviously going to draw a pumpkin. Again, it doesn't really matter which one to use. This will do probably. I'm just going to chuck a pumpkin in the middle. That will do. As you can tell, I don't carve pumpkins. You know what? I don't think I need to do awkward. Awkward. That's not what I want to do. And then it should know what I'm doing. It should know what this. Yeah, okay. You know what? And then without having to draw too much, I'm just going to draw some eyes. Bring you there. Bring you guys up a little bit. Apologies. You won't have to see all the process. I always, you know, speed things up and cut through. I just want to draw a little, a little smile. Okay, wow. Hopefully it registers that as a smile. Okay, three ghosts floating around a glowing pumpkin. Let's see what happens to this mouth. It's supposed to be smiling. Okay, uh, in the woods at night. There we go. Let's just do that for now and see what happens. And there we have it. So this is, you know, it's okay. It's fine. I like how it added like hands and stuff and little arms, little stringy little noodle arms. And it's got like a little mouth going on. It's like, ooh. I don't like what happened to the pumpkin here. It was supposed to be a face, supposed to be a carving. It should have known what that is, but maybe I need to be more specific. It, it's because it's kind of not even anything anymore. But yeah, it's just, <laughs> just this ghost here is all like holding the pumpkin, I suppose. And then uh, it's not no longer a smile, but it still looks cute. Little ghost ego over here, little ghost on the corner here. Um, it hasn't done much with the woods kind of thing. I was hoping it would artificially generate it, but I suppose I did need to and vague representations of trees and all that sort of stuff uh, because it has kind of added what appears to be supposed to be grass and potentially stars i don't know maybe that's all that's little bits of blades of grass but yeah no I mean, again not too bad i could totally see this if it was a bit better on some kind of you know children's postcard or whatever i don't know anyway let's save it now actually i want to test out this ai sort of slider here made intensity if we max it out pretty much maxed out what happens i, I honestly i don't know Let's see. Oh my gosh. So, wow, it's actually really rendered. Oh my, okay. You know what? Look, this is why experiment. It's kind of figured out that it was a, a pumpkin carving with a little face going on there. The ghosts have vanished for some reason, but I suppose if they are invisible, you can't see them. So it's not technically wrong, but it's got the woods. It's got the whole thing going on. It's on the ground. It's got a little bit of light coming through the trees. Wow, this is decent. This is pretty good. Saving this, definitely. I want to see what happens. So what if the what, what if it's down to the bottom then? Less AI render? What would it look like? Let's have a look. Ah, okay. It just it's barely made an attempt. Okay, okay, I get it. Okay, that's that's enough. No need to save that one at all. 
So I just changed the settings again, making the slider to the right, sort of halfway in between. And it's produced this. This is actually probably one of my favorites. It's kind of done this render thing. It's still like an illustration. It's stylized. It's turned the third ghost that's up close into some vegetation for some reason, but it still looks kind of cool. The other two are still kind of, you know, vague ghost-like beings, which isn't so bad. It's kind of strange. It's a very, again, stylized. And that's, I think, what's, you know, adds to the charm behind it. And I'm, I'm particularly impressed with the way it's rendered the trees in the background where there's depth, there's a bit of fog going on. You kind of, you know, it, it's definitely quite deep back there. And the only thing that's not particularly impressive is what it's done to my pumpkin carving here where it's kind of messed up the face. But I suppose you could do that if you wanted. You could carve that out. But anyway, uh, that can be easily fixed. Uh, it's just, yeah, no, very impressive. It's, if anything, a little bit worrying because it's so easy for anyone to create this and they can just, you know, for example, take this and then make a few edits and then slap it onto like a postcard or something. And yeah, it's actually worryingly how how easy it is. So, hmm. I think that's quite a nice wholesome way to end the video there. It is very surprising, this whole Art Breeder collage feature. I, I'm sure there's other iterations of this sort of thing out there that do a similar sort of thing, but it is very surprising just how easy it is for anyone to create very rudimentary looking images, chuck in some photos or whatever, and then a little text prompt, adjust a slider, and then bang, you get these rather interesting set of results. And in some cases, rather useful and good looking illustrations, as you can see from the results I had. Surprising, interesting, and a little bit worrying at the same time. But anyway, I'll leave that up to you guys. Feel free to say what you like and discuss this sort of concept in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate you supporting the channel and following me on my socials. And until next time, have a great Halloween.